Good evening folks, we're back. Back to development. Unfortunately, our earlier stream I had to postpone or cancel because I wasn't feeling very well, but I'm back, feeling much better, and we can begin. Now, today, we're going to have a quick look at, I finished off another little part of the crafting thing, right? So now, our crafting thing does that, which I think looks okay. We can go back, but I think that looks pretty good. Okay. So, there's that, and now to move on to our issue for tonight. We have a problem, and that problem is to do with the splines, right? Now, I have created a widget, <coughs> which will help us with this, hopefully. But first of all, we need to work out what splines are causing us an issue okay or more to the point which direction in which the splines are going is causing us a problem now this is happening or happening i think when we are getting tidy up the spline okay so what we want to do is we want to know first of all which current axis we're on. Okay. And where it's causing us a problem. So with that in mind, let's go. So we can continue because this issue actually happens no matter what we do. Now I have moved our base back closer and basically removed some of our other things. Now one of the things here is we can build our refinery then we can build a smelter then we can build our fabricator. Okay. And we can do a test. But the next thing we're going to build is actually a storage container because I know that this storage container, if we put it here, is going to cost us cause us a problem. Okay. So with that in mind, let's have a look at this. So we basically turn this round and I have actually, this is our helper. This is on the Y and this way is positive and this way is negative. This way is on the X, this way to the right is positive and X is negative. Okay, so that's our little helper that's going to tell us what ones are giving us an issue. Now, when we come down here and we are short of this, we get a problem. Okay. Now we can look at the code here and we can see that we are on X, right? So we're clamping to X.
okay and we are saying it's positive now the question is it's actually negative right so that is actually wrong So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to resume that, and you'll see that that screws up, okay? Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to save it. Okay, and we're going to do exactly the same thing again. If I can manage to do that, right? So we come in here and we click here and we're on X right so our finishing point is X okay and the next thing we're saying is is X positive or negative now that doesn't sound right to me it should be is Y positive or negative right because we should be coming into here removing these and this is on the Y right now I don't want to screw this up too much to start with in case I've got my logic wrong because obviously it's been a little while since I did this so what I want to do is the exact same thing here, but I want to check if this is positive. So this is positive false. Right? Now, the question is... Whether we are actually doing the right thing here okay so let's go back a step okay and what we should actually check is in the spline wherever that may be okay right so we've got finish the spine okay and we come along here We use N plane, clear that, clear that, add that, and then tidy up. Right? So we're definitely going to tidy up. So, 
and then we get the end point okay so we come in a tidy up a tidy up and we say target x target y and then we accidentally click the wrong button and then we see what cu current axis is right so if we add a breakpoint here and we press play again and continue right what I want to see is if we are sure or, or which particular axis we are on at this point right So we're on X, we're on Y, we're on X, okay? So when we come in here, our current thing says X. Okay? Now, at this can at this actual point we don't need to know which of these if it's positive or not or actually do we yeah possibly we do right so, if we step over, <coughs> so we are short at this point on the Y, right? We are short on the Y. So, if we step over this, this currently says that we are... <coughs> is positive. Now, I'm going to argue with that point and say it's actually negative. Right? But, we shall step over and we're on X, which is right. And then we basically step over. Step over is positive is true, which is wrong on. Well, if it, if we're doing Y, then that's right, okay. So we remove one spline point, which doesn't look to be right. And then we remove even more. Okay. So, 
we can staple our staple our and it's removed another one right and it just basically bombed right out of there so if that's the case then it's never hitting there okay so if I do this again then we'll do it short then hit there we shall resume resume so we do hit here right so that's kinda not true And it looks to me like this code might not be working, right? But what we'll do is we'll stop it just now and we'll restart it. We shall continue. And what we'll do is we'll try it on the other side, right? And see what the values say when it actually works. Okay, because we know it works if we join these up here and up here, right? Right, so Right, so we come out, right, and if we're short, right, so we're on X, which is correct. Hey, Jamie, how you doing, mate? Yeah, I remember you for last night. You're the person that was wanting to know how to make a model and bring it into event um, on Real Engine, I believe. Right, so we come in here and it's false. Oh, thank you very much, Jam. Jamie, that's very kind of you. So basically, if it comes in here, it's fine. Right, if it comes to false, it's fine. Right, so we can actually do that, it's fine. Right, we'll bring up our helper diagram again. <coughs> right. Then we shall do this. Um, what do you mean by Spanish? So we are an X. And I'm guessing this is going to be false again. Right. Resume, so we're into here again, which is fine. Resume, that draws that no problem. Right, now the next part, yeah, it says red dot. Yeah, it's because if you try and get a name in, Sp in English, it's, um, it's practically impossible to get something. So if you just 
do the same thing and name it in Spanish, then the chances are that you'll be able to actually get your name that way. And it's not <coughs> the name of some other company somewhere. Right? That's the reason for that. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw, connect this one, but we're going to make it long. Okay. So it's long. And we step over. And this time it's true. Yeah, I know satisfactory. I also know factorial. Right, so that's okay so far. We can step over this. And it says is positive. Now the question is, is it positive on the Y? No, actually, come to think of it. Is it positive on the X? No, not really. Is it positive on the Y? Yes, it is. Right? But we're checking the X here. Right? So that should be step over. and resume, and resume, so that actually works. So that's freaking weird. So the question must be here, does it ever come down this line? Well this is saying it's, is it positive, right? So let's see what this does. So if it equals x, then we're saying it as positive as negative. Okay. Ah, right, okay. So basically for, I think what I need to do here is I need to make this more more intuitive because if we do the x and it's false right so if we go down the false route you can notice that we're actually doing the x and if we do the x we're actually doing the y right and that's because our final our final spline where we're connecting it is the opposite of what we're actually looking for. So that's actually true, but the point is, it's actually bringing back the wrong value. I would, no, well, or is it? Or is it? Right, so if we press play again, right, let's check this out to see what it actually says. Right, so spin that round, spin that round, then we'll join them, okay? So, if we bring up our helper, 
right? We're going on the y. So if it's short, it should be minus, right? So this should come back as false. Okay. And it does. So it comes down here. Right, okay. So let's stop that and let's do it on here. Again, right? Check it out. Right? So, what we could do is if we do it from here. and we're short, right? So we're on the X again, we're on the current X, and the current X should feed us back a, I believe, it should feed us back a negative. Right, which it did. No, it didn't. So it's given us a Y. It's given us the value back on the Y, right? And we're now finding out where that Y is. So it's going to give us the Y again. is positive. Right, I'm going to need to bring up our... Yeah, so that screwed up, right? So, it's not telling us the right answer to whether it's short or whether it's long. Okay? Oh, that's good, Jam, Jammy. If you're getting on with Blender, then that's cool. Right, so here is our thing, right? Now, what we need to know is whether we're short or whether we're long. Okay? Now, the funny issue is that... If I'm long, it actually kind of works, right? Because if I do that and I'm long, then it kind of works, but kind of doesn't. So previous two points is now false, right? So I'm guessing that this part of the logic is working. Right? But it isn't doing the same cleanup as this. Whereas I think it actually needs to. Okay. So 
so you'll see there it actually draws it properly but it doesn't kill this part right so basically what we're saying here is it never cleans up right so it would kind of now appear to me that we need the same sort of code but we need to tidy it up right so don't know if I'm into this tonight because it's already given me a bloody headache <laughs> right but what we're doing return previous right points so we're going to have a look here again and we're going to see what it's actually doing. Right. Yeah, it's going well. It's going brilliantly well, in fact. There's so many systems that are working in it, right? It's just, I'm actually having to do this because I'm beginning to clean things up and then getting it into real shape, right? I mean, I don't know how much of the game you've actually seen. Right, so I'm getting the feeling that this is wrong. I need to know the last saved spline point at this point. The last saved spline point. Well, I mean, I don't know how much you've seen of the game. I don't know how much you've seen. Have you seen the research tree? Have you seen the re recipe pages? Have you seen the storage transfer? Have you seen things switching on and switching off automatically? Have you seen it actually producing stuff? Have you seen the trading with the supply ship? Have you seen... I don't know what you've seen and what you've not seen. Right, but the problem is, there's so much in the game now, I can't show it every night or I'll never get anything done. Right, because I'll be just busy showing everybody what I've done so far. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what your little symbol thing is, sorry. Right. So I need to get my head in the spline, sp spline space here. But what I'm thinking is that this isn't returning the correct points. What I think this is doing, right, I'll explain it as I show it, right? If I, I think it's, I think basically in some cases here, it's working due to luck more than anything else. Or the previous code that that was working when I wasn't calculating the the things, right? So, or I wasn't correcting the spline. So here's the point, right? You draw the spline point down here, right? And we're now short, 
right? But that has now made a number of more splines or spline points, right? Now, if I've made more than two, then we're kind of screwed because it's going to take that point and then that point, right? And it isn't going to calculate these points, which is actually the number we want to know about, okay? So, like, if I do that and resume, 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 it screws up, right? Now, I'm going to try something here. And I'm going to make this conveyor belt as short as possible. Now, if I do that, I actually think this might actually work. No, it still didn't work. Right? But the interesting point is, if I make it too long, right, it's going into the right place. Right? Now, this is the interesting part. Because it jumps down into here. But, the problem with this is, it doesn't clear up the other part, right? So, when we're drawing it on the X, it screws up. If we're drawing it on... And this is going to be exactly the same problem, right? With the... If we do it another way, right? So... If we press play and we say new game and we give it a stupid name like usual, right? So, right, and we'll give him Jammy a little bit of a, a tour of the game while we're doing this, right? So, if we build them this way instead of vertically, right? I think we're going to have the exact same issue, but only in one direction, like the same. If we go too far, it will draw. If we do it from left to right, it will be okay, but if we do it right to left, it won't be okay, right? So we'll have a look at these. So what we'll do is we shall spin these around. Right, and we'll save that. Right, so for the benefit of J Jammy, we're going to build a miner. Right, so you can basically probe, right, and then your drones will take off and probe that area. Right. Now, for fastness sake, I just basically put down a miner, right? But you'll see that the drones come down, then start scanning the area. Right? And then basically that gets built, etc., etc. That would happen in a slightly different order. Like, the miner wouldn't come straight out. It would only be after the drones have actually finished their job. You'll notice these come down and land again and switch off their engines, right? Now, in here, you can select a, a recipe, right? But at the moment, for this one, the only recipe available is bauxite, right? Or iron ore coming through bauxite, right? But you'll notice that in here, we can build all of these. So we've got iron sheet, copper sheet, steel, copper pipes, steel pipes, okay? So you can set these to run. This all works, by the way, right? 
and then in the fabricator you can make copper wire widgets whatever that is a new thing you can make other buildings or whatever and you can make research right now in the research you can click on research and here's the initial research tree that's just basically for testing right and these are all going to affect what you can build the speed the probes go how far they probe what they can probe for minor what you can mine speed of the minor refiner is the same yeah it's a mixture i would say it's a mixture of factorial satisfactory surviving mars and a bit of rim world right uh, about four months and then research itself you'll be able to as you research you can do faster research and blah 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 right you can set these and it will work right and that will fill up and then gradually that will be made available and the actual functionality all works right then you get like a warehouse you can click on that you can see what's in there And then what you can do is you can look at your inventory and you can craft stuff. So like I can craft widgets, so I can craft that, craft that, 10 of them, 6, 10, 11, and then you can see that this has got a little monetary thing. And then it will gradually just make the crafting list and do that shit. Right, so you can craft stuff and you can see that's all working lovely we'll wait for a second I should do the copper sheet the copper wire for because it's actually faster but anyway it doesn't really matter you'll see it working anyway and um, we can close this anyway that will stay there right Then this will start going. And that's pretty cool. And then what you can do is when the rocket ship, the way it's supposed to work, but it just works all the time at the moment, is when the rocket ship comes in, you see this, this rocket coming into land, right? And then obviously when it clears up and you've got contact with the rocket, you can trade with it. Right, so you can sell it stuff or you can buy stuff, blah, blah, blah. And that all works as well. Okay, all of these systems work. Right, it's just gradually tying them together. And then what you can do as well is you can not do that. You can build like a, a storage container. And you can transfer stuff from your inventory to your storage container or back, back and forward, whatever way you want, right? So I can, so in storage, there's nothing in the storage container, but I can now, I can click on that and move them all. I can click on that and move them all. And then if I close that, right, now in my inventory, I've not got those things anymore. So I've got like no copper sheet, no blah, blah, blah. But now if I walk over here and I go back to the here, I can put the widgets back. So I can click on that, move them all across. I can move that and then move them one at a time if I like or whatever. But now if I do that and then I go to my crafting, the widgets are back there and so is the copper sheet. There you go. Right, so all of these systems are working. It's just firing up or getting our conveyor belts to actually connect properly 100% of the time because we know that they connect, but they're just not connecting 100% of the time. So what we can do is we can check it this way and I'm pretty sure if we're short, it ain't going to work. 
right? So it seems to be that every time we are short, it doesn't work. Right, so that, that's not strictly true, apparently. Where's my mouse? Where'd my mouse go? Right, okay, whatever. Right, resume that. Right, so it actually screwed up. Right, I think. Yeah, I actually expected it to screw up. Right? Right, so this time, what we're going to do is we're going to check it long. Right? No, so it seems to be a combination of... <coughs> If we are on Y, it works so if it's connecting to X negative, it's working, right? Both positive and negative, right? But that's not true. Because if the previous one is negative, so if Y is positive, it's working. Right? Whether it's short or long. If Y is negative, then it's not correct. But only it's half right if it's then long. Okay, I'm going to have to write these down to find out what the um, pattern is here. But the point is here, if I do this, right, and I make it long, right, i.e. past here, and then draw it, it'll work. Okay? Now, and you'll notice that it doesn't quite delete that correctly. And I know what the problem is here. I'm drawing a final line. When I shouldn't draw a final line, I should draw from here in sections to the final line. Okay? So there are issues. I know that. Now, if I go in the other direction, right, and I go short, then the question is, is it going to work? And the answer is no. Right? So that's X negative. Right? So there's definitely a lot of logic to get sorted out here. Now, if I go long, I'm going to say this is going to work, but it's going to leave, or it might leave some of this crap here. Right? And it actually didn't work at all. Right. Well, there's that. So, hi there, Quanta. How are you doing, mate? Right, so this is the part I'm working on at the moment. I'm trying to find out under what circumstances things are working or not working. to make sure that we're going down the right paths, okay? And fix the right things. And I think some of it, we're gonna have to rename these things because it's very, very Um, it's not 
intuitive the way this has been done, right? So what I'm going to do is rename this, right? And I'm going to call it opposing axis. Okay. And that makes more sense. Okay. Because, as I said, if we say it's x, then we actually return y. Right? And if we say it's y, we actually return x. Okay, so that isn't very well named and it's quite confusing not only to you guys, well, it'll be super confusing to you guys, but it's even more confusing or it's a little bit less confusing because I kind of thought it did this when I looked at it, but that's only through the fact that I wrote it and I kind of remember as I go. Right, so when I did the code for this, it began to make, it sort of made sense. Now, this actually doesn't make sense, right? Because the problem is that it's getting the previous two things, the previous two points, but these those previous two points are wrong anyway, right? Those previous two points are the last two points in the current spline, right? We don't actually want that. We want the previous two points from the last change of axis, okay? And then we can work out if it needs to go negative or positive on X or Y first before it joins up to the final position, okay? So we really need a way that demonstrates that actual thing, okay? So we're probably going to have to write a series of new functions that better describe what we're doing here. But first, we're going to grab a cigarette, so I shall be two minutes, guys. Stick around.
Oh, okay guys, we're back. So, I think the best idea here is to give ourselves as much information as we possibly can while we're doing this, right? Because we really need to know um, certain things that are going on to be able, be able to even check them, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another test widget, okay? It's not going to be anything fancy then. Widget. I'm going to just call it widget message. Okay. And it's just going to print out text. Right. Um, so we are just basically going to do a probably, well, we need a panel. Right. So we'll just do a vertical box will do right so we can drag it in there that'll do us right and we'll anchor it to the top so position x could be zero then we give it point 0.5 that's going to center it we'll move the y down to minus one ish I'll make sure it's on the screen. We'll size it to content. Then we shall add a text box. Okay. And that will be fine. And we shall do that for now. Okay, and then we're just going to be, to be doing a big, yes, you add a material, you add a material to either a vertice, a face, or whatever, and you can just paint it, you just go into paint mode. Don't ask me how to do it, I've never done it, but I know you can do it, because I've seen people doing it in tutorials where they paint it, you can sculpt as well. Right, so anyway. What you need to do, what we need to do here is we need to generate the text for this so that when we come in, we know a certain number of things, right? So that we can then evaluate if it's going, if it's getting the right values back <clears throat> or if it's giving us the values back that we expect, okay? So, if we go back to our controller, I believe, which we don't have it open anymore, so we'll have to reopen that. Right, so in our controller, under our G button, we're gonna create another widget. Right. And it is going to be the widget message. And then we're going to add it to viewport. Except we're not going to add three, three M's, etc. And then on the end of this one, we'll just move that down a bit. Then we're going to get all widgets of class. This is going to be removed, so this is just for testing purposes, so I'm not really bothered about too much with this because it's all getting removed in the end. It's just temporary to give us an idea of what is going on. So we just bang these in, then with this one we remove from parent and we place that in right. 
so that should now pop up and what we want is to go into our spliner and we want to create an append okay and this is going to generate all the text for us okay and we're going to get controller actually no we're not we're going to get all widgets of class and then we're going to say message we're going to save that we're going to, going to go into our double we're going to turn that into text and we're going to say txt message right and now we can reference that when we use our spliner and uh, we know there's only going to be one so we just say copy get a copy of copy zero and we're going to say it's going to be in the bottom get text message and then we're going to say set text text and then we're going to append this on the end basically right so that's the basic code we need to actually get a message in our message box right it takes a little bit to get it going but hey ho we need to do it right so when we do the append we can do current axis then that okay and we shall pull in our current axis okay paste that in and paste that in here Right, and um, we're going to move it to the right because we're going to be adding a crap ton of stuff. Then we hit shift return, that gives us a return, and then we add a pin. And we see. positive direction right and what we're doing it's not that it's that right okay doesn't really matter then we get the positive direction we need to get these values here right so what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to add a variable and then we'll call it remove me posing okay and we shall set it here then we're going to duplicate it then we're going to put it here
okay and we're going to set it here and here and here so that is going to go to there that is going to go to there and that is going to go to there that is going to go to there okay and this is going to go into here and into here and then this one is going to go into here and into here okay and we can now basically put this number this value in here we can do a, damn we can do a get on this right and then we can just plug it in here Okay, and this append is basically going to go in here. Okay, so now we kind of want it to be shown not here but we're going to probably have to do it at the end right but this isn't ideal right but we can work out what it should be Okay. So we can basically duplicate this and put it down here. Then we plug this into it. So this is going to tell us the current direction and whether or not the previous was positive or negative, right? Now, as I've said before, ah, okay, right, whatever, that goes on there. And that goes in there. Right? And then we need to do the same up here. So we can do that. And then do that. There we go. Right. So at the moment, right, my, my thought is that this is wrong okay it's bringing back the wrong values okay it's absolutely bringing back the wrong values now I have rewritten this it was originally kind of this part here and then this got added and these also got added, right? So
there could be major logical issues with this. I wouldn't be surprised because I obviously didn't test it very much because I didn't actually see any issue with it, even though there obviously was. Right? And because I tested them up the way and that seemed to work, then I took it for granted, which is probably the worst thing you can do. Right? So, <clears throat> what we'll do... is... So, we're drawing... We're on the Y, and it should be plus. But the X should be minus. Right? So the current axis is Y. And the positive direction is negative. I'm just having to put some day. Um, right. So hopefully you guys don't see that anymore. Right. So anyway, we got current axis Y, which is that way, which is correct. And the positive direction is false. Right? Now that joined up. Right, let's do that again. Right, so we'll spin this around. And we shall do this. Right. So we're actually short. Okay. That's fine. What we need to do now is stop it and start it again. And see where we are. So we shall carry on with this. So we'll go, and this time we will go long. Right, but we'll bring up our things first. So I'm expecting it positive again. Okay, so what we probably want to do here is find out if we are either short or long. So we're long this time, right? And it says positive true, which is kind of right. So that seems to be right. Was that working in both directions there? Am I hallucinating or was that actually working correctly? Right, so if I go short, right, we're way short. Right. 
Right, so it is negative. Right, okay. Well, that tells me something. So what we'll do is we'll build our storage container. Right? And then we'll do our probes. And let's see what it does this time. Right? Right, so if we build this, and this is when it wasn't working, remember, this is going to be on the X, and we're short. Or indeed, are we? Resume that. Resume that. Resume that. Right. So our positive direction was actually true when it was false. Right. So when we're going in the opposite direction, it's false. Okay. So when it brought back our positive direction, right, hang on a second, right, if we go back to here, right, we can add a breakpoint here. And we can try and draw this again, and it is going to fail again, which is fine. So, we're short. Right? We can resume this, or we can step over this, right? So, this is going to be x which is correct so this is actually going to be f what yeah that's right okay wait a minute so if this is x it's going to go up the top right so if we step over we get this value here, which is the Y position. Which is 430. Okay. Y position five nine Y position five five Okay. So if we do that, 
we get a positive. Okay. And we can resume that. And resume that. And resume that. And it says pause di direction true. Right? But what we want to do is we want to try this again. Okay. And I'm just wondering if this is going to be false this time. Resume. Resume. It's false. So hang on a minute. Hang on just one tickety boo. Is this what I think it should be? I mean, let's do that again, right? I think we can still do it because this is something I've got to fix, right? But if I do this again, yeah, it's not gonna do it. Right, so we're gonna have to stop it and run it again. And then what we're gonna have to do is continue. Right, and what we'll do in this instance is we'll create our storage container right and then we'll create our probe right why is it I don't know what happened there we glitch I suppose Right, so we'll spin this round. We'll wait till it's all ready. And then what we shall do is we shall save it. And this will give us the ability Right, so we've saved it, okay? And what we want to know is the number here. Right? Wow. Well, of course, I didn't actually do that. What an idiot. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Right, so we'll bring that up. Right, so we'll do that. We do that. We do that. We do that. Then we do that. Okay. And what we want to see is this thing here. So we step over and we want to see what this number actually is. It's minus. Which is right. 
Okay, that's actually right. Because our first position is that, and our previous position five nine eight. Six five. Right, okay, yep, got you. Right. So, what I'm going to do <coughs> is we're going to duplicate this. Right. And we're basically going to say no. Okay. And I'm going to see what effect that has. On. Our code. Now, if it's as simple as this, I'll be amazed. I'll be perfectly happy, but I'll be amazed. Right? Right, so we come in here. We're going to do that. We're going to draw it. Right, so we're drawing that. We're short. We're doing this. And that worked. Right? But my issue with this is, will it work in the other direction? Or do we have a problem going the other way? Right? So the easiest way to do that, right, we'll stop it just now because we've got to do another test in the very same position. Right? And that will be if we actually make another storage container and put it here. Okay. And we rotate this. And then save it. And the next thing we can do is we can draw our conveyor from here. So if we're short here, it doesn't do it. Now it does actually think that it's done something. Right, so basically, uh, 
I need to work out what is going on because at this point I haven't got a frickin' clue, Scooby. Now, I'm guessing that if we do the same thing again, right? If we're long with us, it's going to work. But this still seems to be not the best way, or the way I'm calculating it isn't quite right. Right? Yeah, that's what I thought with Tom. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. What we're going to do is wind up there because I'm going to have to have a major think about this because of something not quite right. So if you've enjoyed the stream, hit the subscribe button, check out the description for Discord, Patreon and previous Steam game. And I shall see you all tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central Time. Bye bye for now.